What's up, Lowrider family? Welcome back to another episode on Lolos and More. Uh, now today, well, today, I'm going to tell you this. I ran into an issue today. All right, so um, I kind of kind of began recording a video for today. But then once I got under there to really see what I had to work with underneath the car in the rear, um, I will not be able to put a bridge. Um let's see let me get the light so this was my first concern when I first got the car let's see when he when the homeboy first dropped off the car um, he wasn't sure if he had a bridge so I kind of looked underneath the car but I didn't have my jack with me at my place and uh from what I could see a little bit that day, when he first dropped it off, um, I could kind of see that there wasn't that much room for me to put a bridge in. Um, now that I'm down here, the day that I was going to do the bridge, uh, I can't do the bridge. So, okay. Um, due to... As you guys know, my situation this is my parents' place. For those that don't know, for the new subscribers, this is my parents' place. I can't have cars sitting in the garage overnight um, and stuff like that. Uh, I can't have cars parked here at my parents', which sucks because I have to drive it from my place to my parents' garage every weekend or every weekend that I'm able to work on the rides. Um... So yeah, or else I would do like this for example. To do the proper bridge, you would have to like cut out a slot of the perch out of the factory perch. Cut out a slot that way you can fit the bridge inward like that, you know, on both sides. And that's how you do the proper bridge. And to do that properly, um you kind of have to dismount the uh the body mounts, the rear body mounts just so that um, it kind of sags and you can get enough room right here to weld the bridge to. You can even weld it from the inside. Um, you know, so you, you don't have to do it from here. But that's what a lot of people do, though. They'll undo the, the body mounts, um, sag the frame a little bit, and weld up here. But that's what some people do, you know. But, uh, but yeah. But the way I do it, uh, the way I put bridges, is uh, I'll make sure I'll cut the bridge properly to where I can put it up against the existing perch right there. You know, we'll lose about two and a half inches, three inches of, of uh, you know, of it being slammed. It'll be three, two to three inches higher. But but the bridges that I put are up against the per the perches right here. So, um, yeah. And then sometimes I'll cut some slots in the bridge just to make sure that the uh, trailing arms clear. They always clear. I never have an issue with those. So, yeah. But unfortunately, there's not enough room to put the bridge in due to the control arms are so close to the factory perch. Oh man, I can't really tell, huh? Yeah, like one, like right the way the axle's sitting there right now. That's the only position that this car can sit at if I put the bridge in. You know, um, it, the only way for it to be done properly is to uh, cut out those perches and put in the bridge. So we're not going to do that. Instead, we're going to go ahead and weld I'm going to go ahead and weld that donut right in there so it doesn't break away right there just like it is it's not cracked well well you know what there's actually a crack right there yeah so I'm going to go ahead and weld this donut to the perch <clears throat> right there on both sides and uh that's all we'll be able to do, reinforce the pocket, 
that way that the uh, cylinders don't break through the trunk yeah I mean this is a, a, a cheaper fix you know for the guys that don't care for having a bridge if you just want to secure make sure that down the road your cylinder springs don't pop through the trunk just go ahead weld a donut right there at the at the perch you can weld it at the bottom or you can weld it on top if you weld it on top you have to dismount the body mounts so well I'm a, in this case I'm a finish taking out the cylinders uh, and then um, weld the donut underneath clean up the metal and weld right there so yeah unfortunately no bridge um, we will be doing a bridge on our next project I can promise you guys that so I will do a uh, full on step by step uh, you know tutorial on how to install the bridge step by step like I said before I know in, in the in the past uh, projects I've had to uh, quickly do it without recording due to time that I had that I didn't didn't have at the time so apologize I apologize for that but uh but soon you guys We'll see a full-on bridge um, that's gonna be on the next project for sure so I think you guys might like it so um all right well enough of me talking and, and complaining let me uh finish taking out the cylinders and then I'll, I'll go ahead and weld the donuts and we'll be right back and I'll show you guys how it looks before uh, I put the cylinders back in. Oh, and one more thing that did go wrong. Didn't go wrong, or as planned, you can say. Uh, the homeboy of the car bought some 14-inch cylinders. These are eights right now. These are eight-inch cylinders, and uh, the the bigger ones do not fit. They don't fit in here, which sucks, because those are going to go straight through the. Uh, the uh, the back seat and and when this car is uh, laid out the cylinders um, they they sit um, going towards the uh, the seat so when it's raised it's straight um, so yeah all right well let me do all that work I'm also gonna rerun relocate the uh, the hose as you guys can tell the hose was not put in properly they had it they had it running underneath the trailing arm and then running up past the the axle so, like I don't know if you guys can see you guys can see that hose right there running underneath the trailing arm yeah that's not that's not the way to do it so Oh, I'll do all that, and before I put in the cylinders, I'll show you what I've done. All right, be right back. Okay, so I got that donut welded in there pretty good, and then uh, the other donut is in there already. Um, I put that cylinder in already. So now, next thing to do uh, is uh, um, I need to work on this cylinder real quick. I have it on the bench over there. So uh, let me uh, uh, rework the cylinder, reroute this hose. I already did the other hose on the other side. As you guys can tell, there's no hose running underneath that trailing arm over there. Because uh, they were both the same way. They were they would run outside this frame, zip tied to these holes. It would run underneath the trailing arm, behind the axle, and straight up. But not anymore. So uh, let me take care of that real quick and be right back. All right. So uh, I reran this hose, did what I had to do with the cylinder, slipped it back in, as you guys can tell. Um, so uh, all I got to do is put the wheels on, and I'm done for the back. Uh, well, 
that's pretty much it. I mean, for this, I was hoping to do the bridge, but this car, unless you completely tear it apart down there, then you can probably get a bridge, but not with the time that I can get in one day, you know, and I can't even put it back together, so for the day to redo something or, or continue doing something. So let's see what to do now. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish doing the wiring in this video. So um, let's get to it, right? Let's start wiring. All right. Be right back. Uh, now today we're going to go ahead and start the wiring on the Skylark. Um, so I got the switch wire straight from the switches right there. I got the solenoids sitting over here where I'm going to put them. The three right here are going to be uh, for the front pump and back pump, two solenoids. Uh, so, so yeah, so I'll, I'm going to go ahead, drill, uh, screw them down to these plates right here. I'm going to do that and then I'm going to run the cable. Uh, uh, this one I'll run it underneath the batteries underneath this pull uh, the bar in this way we will be right under going up this way um, right now I'm trying to see where I want to put the wiring block at um, I know I usually put it in places where they're kind of visible but I make sure that the wiring doesn't look ugly so you know I can leave the wiring block visible you know, I'm trying to see where I want to put it. Um, I'm kind of thinking in this spot right here, or uh, probably, yeah, that spot right there. Um, it'll kind of be covered by a pump in a way. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just do it right there. That way I don't have to run so much wire from the pumps for the dumps to run. Well, let me get this first step started with the solenoids. I'll run the wire. And then I'll go ahead and run my power wire from the second battery over as well. And we'll be right back. ahead and ran the ground <clears throat> when I got the car the ground was uh, hooked up to the in uh, the rack inside the trunk um, what I recommend is I prefer the, the the ground being on the frame on an existing hole there's always a, a hole somewhere along the back of the frame uh, uh, that you can fit a bolt through so as you guys can tell, I sand it off with some rough sandpaper. Uh, let's see. What is it? I don't know. P10. Whatever sandpaper it is, it's super rough. I sanded it down. So what I'm going to do real quick is uh, uh, paint over this so it doesn't get rusted. I mean, I know that some of the frames are already rusted. But let's prevent this area to get more rested than the rest of the frame all right so let me uh go ahead and start working on some other stuff in the trunk all right so let me get out of the light so i got one pump in uh it's hooked up to the cylinders 
is not yet connected to the wiring block um so what i'm actually do with the ground for the dumps since there's going to be a, a big sub box right here um i'm gonna go ahead and tap in some screws right here on top of the bar and that'll be the ground for the dumps um i'm gonna do the same thing uh for, for the front pump i'll run out of ground over here so there's two grounds next to each other um uh, since you guys only see one ground wire it's because i combined both i don't know if you guys can see see how i combined both right there where my finger is those two are my ground wires that i'm using combine them to one that way you don't have a bunch of wire a bunch of clutter going everywhere um so so yeah so uh i got the wires here for the amplifier i don't think i'm gonna do those tonight but i'm gonna go ahead uh hook up the uh the other the front pump i'm gonna go ahead put in the side batteries the two side batteries on each side i'm not gonna put in the batteries that go right here in the front because i need to slip in the subwoofer box you know unless i wire it tonight i don't know we'll see how quick i can do it but yeah but remember don't rush it or else you'll you'll screw it up all right be right back okay so uh got pretty late last night so this is where i am today <clears throat> well, where i left off last night the pumps are in hooked up to the cylinders um all i gotta do now is wire the dumps so uh and then I need to put the subwoofer in here. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to go ahead and do the grounds for both bumps. And I'm also going to do a ground for the amplifier. I'm going to go ahead and screw it down right there on the bar. That's good ground. So I'm going to do that. Um, and touch up on some paint before I put the subwoofer in here. And then uh, once I get that squared away the dumps in the amplifier wire i'll be able to put the sub in here install the amplifier with it and then i'll be able to finish off putting in the batteries and cleaning up the cables all right well let me uh get that going and we'll be right back all right so i got the uh wiring for the hydros all done and taken care of um all i got to do is the amplifier stuff so i got the wires tucked uh, as good as i could um so you, you don't see that much wire until you look down here um the subwoofer box comes up to here to where this line is right here and all you're gonna see is uh oh uh, let's see it's pretty much that Put a zip tie here together so this white one doesn't look like it's all the way out there oops right there yeah there we go so that's all i'll really see all right well let me do the amplifier and the subwoofer and then we'll know how the trunk will look pretty much almost finished all right be right back all right so before i show you guys the trunk remember here here is the before you guys remember that part all right and now here is the after i'm char I'm, st I'm still i'm charging it right now and the hold downs are off of it but here we go what do you guys think pretty clean now huh got a place for the subwoofer you know the, the pumps look freaking great right there oh man this looks Real nice. Real nice. You can barely see the wire unless you really look in there. You know, hook them up with some green wire to match the car. You know, to match the trunk. Turned out to look pretty okay. You know, there's some wiring on the sides that have to do with the trunk lighting or stuff like that. So, yeah. The sucky part is, if you ever need to work on the pumps, 
You need to take off the subwoofer. You need to take off these two front batteries. And uh, disconnect the amplifier, which is attached to the back of the subwoofer. So, yeah. Can't really see much back there unless you actually poke your head back there. You know. But, you know, for a small trunk on a, on a lowrider, it looks pretty badass. Six batteries, two pumps. Alright, so let me uh, finish charging up the batteries. I'll put the hold downs on and then uh, we'll test it. Be right back. Well, there it is. Tested her out. Now we're just waiting for the pickup. And uh, like some of you have said before, why don't I record the reactions? Well, I'm going to go ahead and start doing that. So uh, the dude should be here in about an hour. And uh, we'll check out what his reaction is. Be right back. Uh, what's up, everybody? Now, here's the owner of the Skylar right here. Say, what's up? Hey, how's it going? Hey, what's up? So, he hasn't opened up the trunk yet. Someone was about to open it, though. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, all right. Go ahead. It's, it's, it's open. You can check it out. Hey, yeah, that's fucking clean, dude. Yeah? That's hella clean. You like that? Way better. There's day and night difference. Yeah. Damn, dude, that's hella clean. That's way sick. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. I like how you see the pumps and stuff. Yep. Yeah, yeah, that's fucking clean. Way better. Mm -hmm. You did a good job, man. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, thank you. Yep. Oh, that's hella clean, dude. Way better. Mm-hmm. That's badass. Later. There she goes. Scarlark is done and out of the way. I think they're gonna go to Autos and get more coolant for it. Well, that's it. That's it for the uh, Skylark. Um, I'm building some A arms for it. So, uh, yeah, that's it, everybody. Well, all right, if you guys like the series of the Skylark, comment down below uh, and hit that like button. All right, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Peace.